I wish to address this issue more or less on a personal basis. You know, my feelings on it. There was one day, January 1989, me and a couple of guys decided to go next door to the restaurant and, you know, for, for our lunch break. And then, I know, I see this one emergency vehicle go by, I think it was a Stockton police, just flying down the road. That's not too uncommon. But when the third or fourth one came by, moving at 80, 90, 100 miles an hour, we knew something really big was going down. And especially when we saw, you know, emergency vehicles that every description any vehicle that has sirens and lights just going down the road as fast as they could now we didn't know right then but we knew to, to listen to the news that we found out that 3,000 feet away as the crow flies there was a gunman with an AK-47 assault weapon mowing down kids five killed 30 wounded most of them kids the shootings at Cleveland Elementary School Stockton California was the first mass shooting of um, non-college students Back then, I thought that that would be it. That people would finally do something about these goddamn weapons of mass assault. It's exactly what they are, those big clips. Who the hell needs 100 rounds? Look at it, fight up, fight up an army? No, of course not. That was way back in 89. And then now we got this. When is enough going to be enough. When are we going to say, God damn the NRA. I'm mad as hell and I won't take it anymore. You know, it's time for the, for Democrats to actually come out and say, I'm running on a gun control platform. I am not afraid of you NRA thugs. So anyway, you know, um, you know, I don't have any kids of my own, but you'd have to have one hell of a cold heart, you know, not to feel for those kids and those parents and, and you know, the people in that community. Thank God, I mean, you know, you, you really got to have a cold heart. Now, I tried to do this video before, but I just kept getting too choked up. I just couldn't do it. You know, um, even today when I was looking for, looking at the different pictures and everything, that, um, it, was, it, was, it was hard. But anyway, this is not about me. You know, if we don't do it now, when will we ever do it? When? You know, this has totally shaken me. And it should shake everybody. It should be. You know, I've got pretty high levels of empathy. And I was, you know, watching the news and some of those things I saw were hard, you know, but, yeah, when, I think it was Soledad O'Brien came out and was describing how um, once they had thoroughly checked the school and there were still some parents in this one room waiting and, uh, Well, it was announced to them. I mean, they were uniting the kids with the parents 
or you know responsible adult and then they told them you know there would be no more reunions and she described how people just what well, can you imagine you see the thing is if you want to really get motivated use your imagination think what it was like there you know those military weapons can do some serious bodily damage. If you think about what those kids saw, and if you think of, you know, how they felt, the parents, I mean, everyone involved in that, supposed to maintain composure especially if you're a man you're supposed to maintain composure but uh, I can't do it all the way besides anyway it's only human so okay this has to be something that gets things done Democrats especially have to develop a backbone, stand up to the NRA thugs, run on the platform, introduce legislation, enough is enough. Right, enough is enough. 